Good day, you guys. I am doing laundry and trying to work in this office. I'm getting all this stuff done. I'm trying to get my bills set up and everything right now. But um, I wanted to say, like, the last few vlogs I've been trying to edit, they have been blah. You know, like, I can't even. I don't like. I don't end it right. Like, it's all over the place. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I've been having, like, uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a hard time trying to deal with this vlogging situation, which is why I switch gears because what I'm focused on right now is financial stuff. So I um, tend to talk about that more because that's where I'm at. But the vlogs are just not coming together the way I want them to. Like I have the clips, but they don't look right when I put them together and they are not cohesive. And not that they're gonna be cohesive, but it's just really frustrating the way they look. And I hope you can hear me over my dryer, cause yeah, but they're just not cohesive right now. I'm just trying to get that together. On another note, um, I finally, got in touch with my father and he's willing to do half of me over the name change so I can let that topic go. Um, of course, talking to him was quite the headache. I had him on speaker and Kevin was hearing him talk and you know, even he was like, what the heck is up with dude? But it's to be expected, I guess, because there's still some ill will between, you know, him and my mom. What I wanted to come out of it came out of it and that's, you know, what the important thing is. And um, we seem like we're still on good terms, so that's good. You guys are having a great, great day. It is Monday, so usually Mondays are not great for everyone, but i um, trying to put myself in a more positive space because the last two months have been really taking me to places that I've never been in my life, and I want to try to get out of it. I know it's going to be hard, and you know there's going to be days where it's not going to be really easy, but I'm just going to, you know, try to push towards being more like the person that I was even though like all these medical issues that come up um, since the Cipro thing um, they scare me and they put me in this dark place because I don't understand what's happening to my body it's like it's not mine anymore but I'm just gonna definitely try to push through it and like see if you know positive attitudes will help you know make things better for me because I know a lot of things when healing it's all about attitude and stuff like that so I'm just gonna try to change my attitude I'm not gonna be perfect at it and there still might be a time where I'm just looking like completely not myself but I'm just gonna try my hardest try 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 my hardest to do things to the capacity that I can do them and try to keep my mind at you know at ease because I think it's playing with my anxiety and it's making me like go into this funk and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna try, you know, I, I'm a person that's goal oriented. So if I put some goals in front of me, I'm gonna do my best to knock them all out. And so I think that's what I just gotta do right now is put these goals in front of me and smash them and do it like that. But I hope as far as finances go, if anybody is going through things like us financially or if you even have tips, you know, anything that can help me because I'm, I'm, I want it all. Like I want to absorb everything. So if you have any tips that you do financially, like I would love to know what they are. Um, another thing that I had in place were envelopes, money envelopes. I'll have to go get them and show them to you, but they were just like my sinking funds, but they were in cash, and cash actually works better for me because I was paid in cash when I was self-employed, and um, it actually helped me save money because, um, you know, when you're watching cash go out of your hands, you are more inclined to hold on to it or think twice about it. Because me watching actual physical money leave my hand versus swiping the card makes me think twice. So I would say no to a lot of stuff because I was like, oh, heck no. So I definitely want, you know, I have the account sinking funds, which I think, you know, I might divide it in between cash and sinking, uh, cash and the account because carrying a bunch of cash to me is, um, 
I don't I don't like doing that. You know, I take I would take it out for like groceries or appointments and stuff like that, but I don't like carrying large amounts of money on me um, just because also I tend to lose stuff. So yeah, there's that. Also, you know, um, so tell me what you guys do, what helps you guys hold on to your money. Also, uh, you know, maybe we should do some kind of like challenges, like the $5 challenge or a $1 challenge, like wherever anybody feels comfortable. Like, I'm game, you know what I mean? I like having people with me that will do it and we could be accountability partners and stuff like that. So I definitely would want um, us to all be able to do it together because that would be cool to have, you know, either one or even two people do it together. Like we could just all hold each other accountable and that would be nice. So um, that's what's going on with me right now. Laundry and trying to clean up. And my laundry was wild, you guys. Like it was crawling up my wall. And I think it's only been a week and a half since I last did laundry. But um, for some reason, it looked like it was just getting out of like control. And so, and I'm also running low on laundry detergent. So I definitely gotta go out and get that because I still have to do the kids' laundry. And um, I have a load of whites right here that needs to be done as well. So there's still a lot of that. I need to clean out the fridge, which I absolutely loathe. But um, it's got to be done before the grocery shop. You got to clean out the fridge. Yeah, I don't even know. Like I'm recording all this a bunch of clips, but I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I need to check if that's even happening because this picks up on a lot of background noises versus the noise that's in front of it. So. Um, and that's pretty frustrating. Excited just to, you know, try to put my mind back in a better place. I'm gonna have to, like, find a way and probably look on YouTube for things that can ease my anxiety, that can get my mind right, you know what I mean? Just find little ways. There's such a plethora of information out there that is free, you know what I mean? As far as anything, especially on YouTube, people give you, like, a wealth of knowledge for free and I, I enjoy learning from other people you know through their trial and error and stuff like that it's just really really beneficial to gather up like it's fun to watch vlogs and people do stuff but I also love the knowledge aspect of YouTube like there is just it's amazing because I didn't know people I know my daughter like thinks it's weird I didn't know people actually just put their lives on YouTube I thought it was just for knowledge because I would just look up how do you fix a bike, how do you, you know, change a light bulb on a car, how do you do, you know, so I was only looking for it for the knowledge aspect of YouTube. I didn't know about this other side of it where people just share their everyday lives, which was amazing too because if I had known that back in the day when I felt isolated as a military spouse, there are people like Kiara, who was a military spouse, I mean, years after me, but if I would have known somebody like her existed, I wouldn't have felt so by myself, you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool to see that there's other people in the world going through what you're going through, and you can relate to these people and kind of feel like developing your relationship through YouTube, like you know them, but not really know them, because you're only getting like a snippet, but kind of know them, you know? And that's kind of cool or you're going through stuff and then you find other people I started watching a lot of people because I was ready to move and I wanted to see how they did it um, how what journey did they take did they use a u-haul did they use this or that and I didn't use a u-haul when I moved out here um, but you know I just wanted to see what everybody else's journey was and how they did it Chrissy strong mommy Chrissy she had a large family so I was really curious like how did you move from Colorado to Vegas and it was like really interesting to see her do it you know um Olivia from living with the webs she moved from California to Texas and that's how I found her Kiara because they were leaving Alaska and going to um to Texas so these are how I found the people that I watch you know what I mean and um, it's just really really interesting to me to see how other people do things you know and live their lives and stuff like that and I'm older than these people you know a lot of the youtubers that I watch but I can relate to a lot of their life and a lot of things that they go through so it's kind of cool to not and especially right now because I'm back in a situation where we don't know anyone out here we don't know anyone out here and we're kind of like by ourselves and I had been watching these particular youtubers since um, 
before we left so I kind of feel like I brought my friends along with me in some sort of way you know what I mean like people that I was already watching and following and seeing I mean a lot has changed within the time that I had started watching uh, Kiara um, she's in a totally different state than Texas now and things are different with her now you know and a lot of things have changed with all the people that I've watched and you see them go through their trials and tribulations and pick themselves up and it's really amazing you know it's really amazing what's out there for you to relate to learn from and all that stuff and, um, so let me get back to doing what I was doing I just get sidetracked so so easy um, I had to make myself something to eat because all I had was like a beet juice this morning and things are looking positive. I guess I'm losing eyesight in one eye, but I'm hoping that it's temporary, you know? Who knows? But, you know, I'm just going to look on the brighter side of things as of right now because being down, I just see, I feel this actual, feel a physical weight on me. It's not that it's just like, oh, you're down because you don't feel good and you're depressed due to it, which is a part of it. But now I'm feeling that physical weight on my chest, that physical weight in my heart. So now it's manifesting itself into actual physical weight that I'm carrying around with me. And so I want to lift that and just get back into a more positive light you know what i mean and i so you know i'm gonna need my earth mama medicine and all her positive energy to radiate through the um screen like she always does and help me through this you know i need positive people like that to find and watch and relate to because energy is a big thing with me and everyone's energy is off in my home because my energy is off so I can't really like rely on anyone at my house to help pick me up they're relying on me to pick them up so I gotta get back in the space that I can make everyone feel a lot better like I said it's gonna be a challenge and like I said um, it, it won't be easy but I'm gonna you know, try my best to get back to the space that I was in before because who wants to be upset all the time and, you know, I'm going to share with you guys my lunch. So, I have a banana, this salad, it has the salmon in it and barbecue salmon, I guess, from, you know, those little packs, avocado and spring mix and my vitamin right water salad dressing or any oh and i threw some kimchi in my salad hi guys it's a new day and i talked to you guys about the um cash envelope so i thought i would show them to you they have the same effect as the um multiple accounts but it's in cash and depending on how you guys work with cash um like me i work better with i work better with cash so the envelopes really were beneficial to me when i initially had started Dave Ramsey. So this envelope is a gas envelope. And I can see if I have rope down. Yeah, we were putting $50 every time we got paid, either side hustle or um, a regular check, we put it in there. I'm sorry, the wind is just mad disrespectful. And as I mentioned before, we had an envelope for Wolf and Philip, and then we would put money in there for their appointments and needs. And it looked like we were doing 40. And groceries and household. So that's like your toiletries and then your groceries. So that one was getting, looks like $80 every time we got paid. Eating out, mainly sushi as you can see. And that one was actually only getting 10. Um, the emergency fund. I didn't write how much the emergency fund was getting, but I was putting 100 every time we got paid. Ones actually meant $100 bills, so we get $100 every time we got, you know, I'm thinking right now, and then I put the balance as like $1, but it represented 100 The kids had their own envelope for things that would come up in school. Let's see how much they were getting. I didn't write it down, but I believe it was somewhere to the tune of $40. The rent envelope 
it had the balance because we wouldn't get paid the exact amount so right here it would show oh, sorry how much we would put in there that we needed to complete our rent because our check on the beginning the main check wouldn't complete the rent so we use multiple avenues to put the money in to complete rent fives because I got paid in cash as I mentioned before so I would put five dollar bills in here and every time I got five dollars I would put it in there and I put 20s in here so every time I had 20s I would put them in there and then I would show like you know how much I deposited in there after a while I wasn't writing down the numbers which is bad but just because uh, but they're really good envelopes they say they're by um, www.spendbelope.com let's see if yeah better but the cash definitely worked better for me because I hate seeing physical money leave swiping the card just doesn't do anything for me I don't feel it but I physically would feel it when it was cash because I got paid in cash so I would physically feel the time that I spent of work going into someone else's hands so like I said I know it's been a lot of financial stuff but it's just literally what's going on in my life right now so however it works for you guys like I definitely would just go ahead and do it because you know we're all trying to get ahead here we're all trying to do better here and I would love you know honestly would love if we could all encourage each other and make things you know hold each other accountable because I just love having accountability partners and stuff like that it's another windy day Kimana and I had went out for a walk with Wolf um, about two hours ago and honestly he hasn't stopped panting since then so I don't know if it messed with his allergies because the wind was blowing or what but he has not calmed down since that walk so the day is um, when my husband gets home we're supposed to go pick up our grocery order from Walmart which is another way that I stay um, from spending like extra stuff is doing it online because you know when you go through these aisles like I like to walk through every single aisle of the whole entire store and you just kind of pick up random items and stuff like that even if it's a candy bar or whatever it is um, and for me lately it's been supplements so I pick up a ton of supplements that well I feel like I need them to be honest but I might not necessarily need them and but I pick up a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need so having a list a working list of things that I like want to make and stuff like that plus um, things that I might need like I had to get eyeglass wipers because it's driving me crazy having to wear glasses now and then they always look dirty um, so I went into Walmart yesterday to go pick up um, a like cash that my father had sent me and it was closed and then I ended up walking through the aisles and I was like oh I need stuff for my eye my glasses which I really did need but it just starts there and then it can end up anywhere I stick to a list better when I can see how much is going into the cart and how much it's adding up and then it really shows me like do I need x y and z or is this just like I just want it so it really helps me like stay in line with stuff like that so I enjoy going and just picking it up even though i miss going in the store sometimes but it definitely saves a lot more money from on my end because i'm not going through with the kids and just getting like random items or even kevin like he'll throw in random things too so um it just helps us stay on track as a family how much we um, spend what I need to learn to start doing is something that my mom did quite often and a, a lot of other people do but I've just never had that luxury is making enough to have leftovers so I cook every day when I do cook I cook daily and I don't I rarely ever have leftovers so um, I need to start batch cooking enough that I can even put it in a freezer I need to learn to 
love leftovers, you know. Um, while we were in California, like rice and beans and tortilla, like that was like the go to because that's what we were eating a lot of. And um, it lasted a long time. It was cost efficient. And, you know, it was rice and beans and beans and rice. And I just need to get back on that. It's just that I've been wanting to experiment with more like different things lately but I also at the same time have not had the energy to cook and my husband let that be husband let that be known um, when I talked to him on his lunch break today he was like oh thank goodness you cook because it has been a few days but mind you also like I have very limited things in the fridge and we have been kept putting off grocery shopping so that was another reason like but he wanted ramen as well, which I really hate. I don't eat ramen anymore. I haven't. And ever. so, yeah, I'm going to learn about that. I have a lot of cookbooks that, like, teach you how to cook, like, on the low. So there's, like, the college meals. And they, like, show, like, rice and bean burritos and stuff like that. So I'm just going to start. Also, another thing was my crock pot broke, like, a couple months before we came out here. And I never replaced it. And I didn't replace it on purpose because my intention was to get something like the Instapot, but probably not as, ex as, ex as, as, oh my God, I can't get it out, as, as expensive as the Instapot. Oh my gosh, I cannot get that sentence out for the life of me. Um, so they had something from, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like $30 to the Instapots, like $80 or whatever. So I was trying to, that was, that was a goal was to get something like that, that I can batch cook in and do stuff, but I never did it. And I guess that, I guess that's it for right now. Um, me and Wolf are going to be chilling in the office. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go for now.